Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so this is a solemn day. Um, I'm coming to you today from Sierra Vista, Arizona. Many of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook knew that I was pretty much about faced from heading to Florida um, to come to Sierra Vista. And the reason I about faced was because um, I received a text message from Alby, one of Chico's very close friends, that he was in the hospital. And so I about faced and drove just under a thousand miles in two very fast days to get out here. Um, as you know, Chico had been suffering from a long-standing illness over the last year, and out of respect for his privacy, I did not put videos up, but um, um, I have been in constant contact with Chico throughout um, these terrible ordeals. In any event, um, Albie took him to the hospital where Chico um, did have um, some pretty significant health events occur. And again, out of Chico's privacy, I'm not really going to talk much about that. Suffice to say that one of the things that Chico was most um, concerned about was being alone. Um, as a solo RVer, I certainly understood that because there's been times when it ha can be very lonely. Um, it was important for me to get out here um, because I valued Chico's friendship more than anything. He was an amazing friend to me and um, confidant um, and role model in terms of this RV lifestyle. <clears throat> Chico was one of the first RVers that um, I started watching on YouTube and he inspired me to get out there and, and do this. Um, after a few months of watching him on YouTube, <clears throat> he reached out to me. Um, he had saw, he had seen my channel, which was very young at the time, um, and very amateurish and very crazy. And his first question to me was, "Hey, when are you getting on the road?" And I said, "Hey, when are you getting on the road?" Uh, from that point forward, Chico and I had developed an amazing friendship, talking every day, twice a day, hours at a time. I would look forward to getting home from work and getting on the phone with Chico and talking with him about the RV, especially Myrtle, because there were so many different things I was doing. And Chico always provided me with incredible mechanical guidance and resource. And <laughs> but more than that, Chico provided me with a tremendous <clears throat> friendship. Being out here to support him during this health crisis was very important to me because our friendship was very important to me as well. And I think very important to him. When I got to Sierra Vista, um, Chico's condition was far worse than I thought. Um, I don't know if you'll recall, but when he was originally in the hospital this past March, um, I called Devin from Eccentric, Eccentric Nomad, and I asked her to please go to his bedside because I couldn't be there. There was no way I could get out to Arizona at that time in my life. And without any hesitation, Devin went right there to his bedside. And for a number of weeks and months, Devin spent time just sitting with Chico and talking with him, bringing him Diet Pepsis and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff, and the two of them forged such a tremendous friendship. So it was natural for me when I got out here to Arizona to call Devin, and true to form, Devin immediately came to Sierra Vista. Together we traveled to the hospital on that first day, and I was able to assess um, Chico's condition, which was pretty grave. Um, during that period of time, Devin and I spent time with, his, with Chico at his bedside. And then yesterday, we went back to the hospital, and he had taken a, another turn for the worse. Um, his um, healthcare power of attorney, her name is Michelle, an amazing person who had to make some very tough decisions, followed Chico's wishes to the T. Devin and I were at his bedside, holding his hands as he passed, and um, he had a very peaceful transition from this world. Um, Devin and I held each other and cried, and, um, and that's what happened. So today I just want to recount a little bit about my friendship with Chico and to say farewell to such an amazing guy and an amazing friend. There's a lot of emotions that I have right now, as many of you do, because you all love Chico as much as I did. And Chico was the kind of guy that made friends across the country, people he would speak to every day. Um, 
I just want to say thank you to a few of those people, and I, I'm sure my list is, um, is not complete, and if I didn't mention you, please forgive me, um, but I definitely want to say thank you to Albie and Jerome for having the foresight to be out here because their goal was to travel with Chico when he felt better um, and to hook back up with the Wandering Individuals Network. Albie was the one who took Chico to the hospital driving 90 miles an hour down the road to get him there um, and has been very concerned about him and um, is, is, is as affected by this as his passing as we all are. I want to thank uh, Michelle, who is his healthcare power of attorney, for having the courage to do what she, um, what, what she did in terms of respecting Chico's wishes. I certainly want to thank Devin for her amazing support to Chico during this period of time. Um, I want to thank Kelly and John Schulte, who were such amazing friends to Chico after he got out of the hospital the last time and they allowed him to stay on their property and Kelly nursed him and John provided him with great conversation and friendship. Um, the two of you will never know how much your actions um, help Chico, so you're amazing people. I want to thank Craig, who would spend the nights on Skype while Chico slept um, because Chico was afraid and, and didn't want to be alone. Craig, you will never understand how much that support for Chico was unbelievable. Um, I want to thank Dale and um, Chico's Florida family for your undying support, um, your calls, your concerns, and um, you know, he loved you all very much. I want to thank Rick, um, but most importantly, I want to thank Chico's RV community. Um, the amount of support that Chico's received uh, over this past year has been amazing. His RV community, his YouTube family is what sustained him. Um, he was passionate about this life. He loved this life. And so today I want to sit back and have a remembrance of this amazing person, this amazing human being. Um, friend and fellow RVer, and I want to wish him farewell and uh, send him with all the love and positive energy that I can send him. There are many questions coming out about um, a memorial service and all that. I just want to let you know that um, I'll be posting a video on Rufus and Doofus's page and I'll also on my YouTube channel about the memorial service that Devin and I are planning. We're going to do a campfire memorial service in Quartzsite probably the week in between Christmas and New Year's. If you can find your way to come out, that would be wonderful. Uh, if not, then you can certainly keep Chico in your thoughts during that period of, of memorial. Um, I'm working with um, Facebook and with Michelle on placing his primary Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Rufus and Doofus page in memoriam. Um, but in the meantime, I will be posting updates to the memorial service and other information that's important to you on his Rufus and Doofus page. So please um, visit his page frequently so you can see what we're doing. I know there will be many questions about the care of Rufus and please know that um, Jerome and Albie have been taking wonderful care of Rufus. Um, we do have plans to adopt him to a family that um, Chico had prearranged and so there have been many wonderful people who've reached out to offer to take Rufus and for, you, for those that have reached out I say thank you so much. Uh, but suffice to say Rufus is going to be well cared for while he'll miss Chico, much like we will, um, hopefully he will have a wonderful new family where he can romp and roam and, and uh, live out the rest of his life with some freedom and some joy. Thank you again, and um, I, I can't even talk. Okay. Thank you again for all of your love and support, and to Chico, farewell my brother. I will miss you.